Welcome to Plask Tips and Tricks. Thanks for dropping by. In today's episode, we're sharing with you how to increase the protection of domains with the Sysalit extension. The extension offers a single interface for securing your websites with SSL TLS certificates. Let's see how it works. First of all, make sure that SSL extension and either Let's Encrypt or DigiCert SSL extensions are installed. In the subscription list, Let's choose the domain we want to protect. If we look at SSL TLS certificates icon, we see the indication below that the domain is not secured. To change it, we need to obtain a certificate. Let's proceed to SSL TLS certificate page. Here we see the list of certificates. All options are clearly described so you can pick the one for your needs. As an example, we will use Let's Encrypt certificate. We need to enter the valid email address, then choose what exactly we want to secure. The default option, secure the domain and the selected components, works good if you are not sure what DNS settings you have. We choose another option, secure wildcard and webmail on this domain because we have proper DNS settings. You will learn how to set up DNS properly in the Another Tips and Tricks series. Now we need to click Reload and wait while Plask finishes adding a DNS record. On this page, we see that all selected components and wildcard are secured. Here you can run SSL Labs test to check how secure your domain is now. This test shows A and this is not the highest rating. We can improve the rating of security if we turn on the four TLS related options and sync TLS versions and ciphers with Mozilla Free Service. Let's have a closer look at them. The first option, redirect from HTTP to HTTPS, set up a permanent redirect from the insecure HTTP to the secure HTTPS version of the website. The second option, HSTS prohibits web browsers from accessing the website via insecure HTTP connections. If visitors are unable to connect via HTTPS, your website will become unavailable because your certificate might be expired. The first connection still can be via HTTP, the rest connections will be via secured HTTPS. Also, when this option is on, you can choose the time period when browser sends your to HTTPS. Looks simple now, but previously only the admin could configure it via additional engine settings. The third option, keep website secured, automatically replaces expired or self-signed SSL TLS certificates with free valid certificates from Let's Encrypt. It covers each domain, subdomain, domain alias and webmail belonging to the subscription. The last option, OCSP stapling, enhances the privacy and improves the website performance. The web server will request the status of the website certificate from the CA instead of the visitor's browser doing so. On the page, there are ciphers managed by Mozilla. These ciphers are constantly being updated. If you want to use the latest ciphers, click Sync Now. Now, with all TLS-related options on and sync ciphers, let's run SSL Labs test again and check the protection of the domain. Woohoo! A+, we have the highest level of protection. Hope this covers your questions. If we missed any, drop us a hint in the questions and we will burn it. Bye folks, stay safe and plesky!